This is a presentation on Bolivia. I'm Christian Castillo. And I'm Kelly Owens. La cultura. Bolivia culture is very diverse. Bolivia has people of Spanish origin and indigenous groups from the Andes and the Mestizos. Bolivia is named after Simon Bolivar, leader in 19th century wars of independence against Spain. Bolivia has many different foods, most of which consist of meat, corn, rice, eggs, and vegetables. Most common religion is Christianity. The most uh, common ethnic group is the Mestizos, and then the second is the indigenous groups. La tradiciones. The Bolivian traditions had been diluted due to a large population of Spanish and indigenous groups, but the Bolivian traditions are starting to surge once again. Some Bolivian traditions are celebrated through festivals, and such as the festivals of the Virgen de la Candelaria, uh, Swan Juan Festival, Carnival in Oruro, All Saints Day, and Day of the Dead. A lot of the clothing that they use for their, to celebrate their Bolivian uh, traditions and their culture are very bright colors to show that their mood, as in they're happy, they're excited, and they're proud of their uh, culture and they're happy for their success against their, the war against Spain. Las Celebraciones. So one of the big festivals that they have in San Juan is called the Fiesta de San Juan, which is celebrated every year on June 23rd. And historians tell us that this festival originates in the Celtic part of Europe, which celebrated the beginning of summer. And then when Europe was converted to Christianity, this festival became a festival of San Juan. And in the Andes, the Incas already celebrated the night of June 23rd in a festival that was called Inti Remi, which means festival of the sun in Spanish. And this festival continued when the Spaniards arrived and honored the Catholic Saint San Juan. And it was originally a night of celebration with these roaring bonfires, but due to the increase in population and toxic materials that were burned during the celebrations, they ended up banning the bonfires and they do barbecues instead now, which still allows for a warm and friendly setting. Um, and this tradition mainly revolves around the culture's perspective on getting rid of the old to make room for new. So um, the purpose of these bonfires were to burn any belongings that represented any bad memories. And then another practice of jumping over the bonfire was said to cleanse them of evil and burn their problems away. Um, and the two main products involved are fire and water. So they say that fire purifies and then water recuperates, rejuvenates and refreshes in preparation for summer. So it's all about forgetting the old and making room for the new. And I also think it demonstrates their perspective on the importance of spending time with friends and family. Uh, family is the center of everything in Bolivia. And so I think getting together with your friends and family really shows uh, the importance of spending time with your loved ones. Las comidas y las bebidas. Um, Bolivia's cuisine varies with landscape. So um, cuisine in the Andes and the Altiplano is centered around carbohydrates like potatoes, rice, quinoa, and meat. And then foods in the lowlands is more tropical um, and yucca and plantains are the staples. And some of the specialty foods include sil pancho, which is a platter with a burger, salsa, rice, and an egg. Cocadas, which are coconut cookies with macadamia nuts. And then chuño, which is a natural dried potato. Um, and one of the biggest food customs in Bolivia is called saltena, which is a 15 to 30 minute snack break in the morning between breakfast and lunch. 
And during this time of the day, most of the city shuts down. So offices, stores, and businesses have coffee and tea and a small snack usually. Um, and Bolivians tend to hold the same views on punctuality as um, most of South America. So if you're invited for dinner, it's just common courtesy to arrive 20 to 30 minutes late. Um, and then almost everything is eaten with a fork and knife and the major meal is lunch. Um, and in some of us houses and in some restaurants, lunch is a four course meal. And then the most traditional alcoholic drink in Bolivia is called chicha de coya, which is made from fermented corn and you drink it from a rounded bowl. And Bolivia also has a lot of local beers. The most popular are Pasenia and Huari, which is a little bit more expensive. And Bolivia also produces its own wine from vineyards in the Tarija region. And you can visit the wineries themselves, or you can go to one of the many wine bars that they have there. Um, and then some of the traditional drinks are Lisuado, which is water milk blended with fruit and sugar. Moco Jinchi, which is peaches and spices that are brewed together in water. And then Api, which is a corn-based drink that is apparently a lot better than it sounds. La Musica. Like its history of mixtures, crossbreeding, syncretisms, the music in Bolivia is frighteningly diverse. Each region has its own rhythm, its own instrument, its own air, and nothing but its own. Impossible to give you a state of the art there now in a few lines. However, there are a few ideas in the Andes. The melodies are marked by the sound of the Zaponio pan flute. The charango, small 10 stringed guitar with high notes, particularly typical of the Potosi region, but spread throughout the Andes. And the Kenna Andean recorder, originally without words, the melancholic tunes were soon accompanied by tragic melodramatic texts in. Quechua, Ayermar, or Spanish for the needs of the mass market. On the contrary, in the hot plains towards Tarija, the Western guitar, the accordion, and other instruments, strange to say the least, make the crowds dance with lively and cheerful rhythms. Apart from these ancient musical traditions, the Jesuits brought Baroque music with them to the plains of Bolivia. A real curiosity, many natives learned how to make and play the harp, violins, etc. This cultural imprint has remained very much alive over the years, and even today we can still see operatic works and concerts of Baroque music given by the best musicians from Guarani, Moyo, or Chiquitano. La Geografia. Bolivia is the fifth largest country in South America and Bolivia, part of Bolivia, the specifically the southern western part of Bolivia, used to be a part of the Inca territory. And that is also the same area that there is the Andes Mountains within Bolivia. And Bolivia is 424,162 square miles, which is by comparison, Texas is 270,000 square miles and Alaska is about 600,000 square miles. So Bolivia is in between the size of Alaska and Texas. There are 11.35 million people that live in Bolivia. And Bolivia is in the middle of South America. It is to the east of Peru and Chile and it is north of Argentina. Las Curiosidades. The main exporter of Brazil nuts is Bolivia, not Brazil. 
So about half of the world's Brazil nuts come from Bolivia, 40% come from Brazil, and the other 10% come from Peru. And the demand for quinoa in Western nations has pushed up quinoa prices. So many people in Peru and Bolivia where quinoa originates can no longer afford quinoa, which is one of their staple crops. Most homes in Bolivia have a llama fetus thrown under their foundations for luck. And 40% of all plant and animal diversity can be found in Bolivia. And because of this, Bolivia has designated over 17% of its land as protected areas. And the legal voting age in Bolivia depends on marital status. So if, if you're married, you can vote at 18, but if you're not married, you have to wait until you're 21, which is really interesting. And then pink dolphins are native to Bolivia. So the dolphins in the Amazon River are pink and scientists don't know exactly why, but they think it's either due to a high density of blood vessels by the skin surface, chemicals in the water, or the temperature of the water. And Bolivia has over 30 official languages. And after marriage, the wife takes after the husband's surname and is prefixed by day. So for example, if someone named Maria Lopez married Manuel Costa, her name would become Maria de Costa. We're excited, Paige, for all the sources that we used for this presentation, and I hope you enjoyed.